Ah, I need to turn that off. Here, hold on a second. Give me a second. Okay, great. Turn that bed off. It's making too much noise. But anyway, as you can see behind me, okay, look out. Beautiful morning out there. I love the view. But yes, I'm still in the hospital, as per last week. So I haven't made it home yet. It is Monday, and I probably won't make it home today. More than likely, it'll be tomorrow, which is me and my wife's anniversary day. So hopefully, I do make it tomorrow. Um, but I'm doing good, digesting, like, uh, the liquidy foods well. Going to try a little bit of a heavier breakfast. The nurse is going to clear it through the food service, and then we'll see how I do. But I should be okay, good. But anyway, just because I'm in the hospital, and even though I got something strapped to my arm, this thing is going to be monitored, that does not give me an excuse to be lying down a job because I'm still studying filmmaking, DOI thing, lighting, uh, just all aspects, stop motion because I still have a project to do. And over there is my notebook which I will be taking notes and writing more scripts later on today. Just because I'm in the hospital doesn't mean my work is done. So anyway, let's see how this week goes. My week starts right now. In the hospital still, and don't hear anything yet, but uh, my wife must be rubbing off me because I'm I'm watching the Spanish channel. Yep. Hello, peoples. It's just a little bit after midnight, and. Oh, this night is a special night. I stayed up for, I'm tired, but I stayed up for one minor reason is because on this night, five years ago, the night before I was going to get married to my wife, and um, what I was doing the night, I was up, way up in the thumb of Michigan. So Michiganders would know, like, Michigan would be the thumb, the thumb's right there. And I was driving back home um, from a work I was doing. I was going to um, visit somebody for that work. Um, it ended up not happening, so I was heading back down. It was after 11 o'clock, close to midnight. And it was, uh, it was a cooler night, about to rain. And I was like, oh, some, still like a good half hour. Good, yeah, good half hour, hour away from uh, where I was living at the time, and my truck broke down under an intersection. Not fun at all. And I thought, how am I going to... I had a car nearly ram into the back of me before I could put the hazards on, and I was thinking, how am I going to get out of this, because I can't push this car. But immediately, um, there was right by the traffic light where I broke down at, there was a tattoo parlor, and you had, you had these big, burly guys come out of this tattoo parlor and be like, hey, you need help, and they were able to push my truck uh, into this parking area. And so I was walking in this tattoo parla, parlor, and I'm dressed um, very nice, you know, with the tie and everything, and all these roughnecks, you know, with um, gentle giants, you know, but still just this rough place, and and they're like, so what's going on with you? And I'm like, I'm getting married tomorrow. And they're like, ah, no congratulations. I'm like, yeah. And then I had to call Priscilla, um, and she was feeling sick. 
and I was just standing out there in the rain wondering how am I going to fix this truck. It just died on me. I had no idea what was wrong with it or how I was going to move it. And I'm like, honey, I'm stuck out here. And I mean, I ended up calling my dad. He, he, got, he got me, but it was really late at night, and it was just it was just crazy. A uh, night before getting married, and I'm standing out in the rain miles from home, you know, if the truck broke down. But in contrast to tonight, where I am in a hospital, and my wife is back at home, and not the same situation, but, um, you know, similar thoughts. I mean, I've been now a full week away from the house, and I, even though, I mean, my wife's been here to visit, but still miss her, because sleep alone at night, you know, she's got to go back home and take care of things, and, and I, I do miss her, and just this day being important, you know, but at the same time I realize, you know, it's a good thing to ponder on, and just thankful that I have her, so hopefully tomorrow I get up. Everything will be just and good, and I'll be at home tomorrow, and so we can celebrate our anniversary. Anyway, okay. Good night, and see you all in the morning. So, the IV is now officially detached from my arm, as you saw last week when I was walking with this, my, my friend. No longer attached. So long, goodbye. Nice knowing you. And all I'm doing is waiting for a doctor to come in and get me a minute out, then I'll be good to go. So, cool. Glad I'm getting out today. It's anniversary day. Hey everybody, so yes, made it home. I was able to walk out of that hospital carrying my bags. Drove home, my own power. Of course Priscilla drove to get me, but I drove back home. And feeling good, recovering good. Have a game plan for this winter. Just gonna start juicing a lot, not eating much solid food, if any at all, and keep the passageways in my intestines clear. So give more time for healing. So lesson learned. Learned a lot of good things from my hospital stay. Found out my blood pressure is normal when hospital stays before. It wasn't, it was very, it, well, it was low. I'm going to say very low, but it was low. Low enough to have the doctors worried sometimes, but now it's normal. I don't know. Anyway. I just love the fact that I'm able to bounce back a lot better, you know, recover faster for these. So, now that we've had two weeks of fun with hospitals and stuff, we got to get back to work for next week, so... I'll see you all next week. We got to get back to our projects.